What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Should talk about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. And I'll be talking about some of the three major things that I believe are a problem with this movie. That I kind of touched on in other videos but a little bit more in depth this time. And I'll also go over the cult stuff a little bit. But there's three major things that I think are a big problem with Jeepers Creepers Reborn. When it relates to the writing. Because we know that this movie is very unconvincing in its presentation from the green screen screen to the acting at times the dialogue it's kind of easy to get taken out of the movie due to the bad effects the design of the creeper but strictly related to the script there are three major problems so far and, and i guess one of these isn't even really just the, the script alone as much as it is a prop that was horribly handled so just to start off with number one is the creeper's truck now i'm all open for being corrected in the comment section if it can be backed up by the actual truth but this thing literally finds its truck decides to drive it to the horror hound festival and then decides to crash it and blow it up for what reason for what i could tell and what many others seem to be inferring is it is it seemed that the creeper was bothered <laughs> that everyone was having fun at this event it's like okay the action itself just doesn't make sense because the creeper's truck was parked somewhere from what we can assume for many years there would be no reason for it to get rid of any type of evidence if that's what it was trying to do no one was checking for it and again if any part of the creeper did that to remove evidence that's stupid it makes no sense because all you had to do was simply leave it parked in the first place you dumbass it's just one of those aspects of the movie that just really make you question why was this written in why is this character behaving like this what did it get out of this what was the purpose of that your truck was perfectly parked over here unbothered no one was checking for it you decided to go crash it maybe even possibly get rid of evidence but why no one was checking for it <laughs> um the second thing is d wallace and gary graham who go missing in the movie now to elaborate the film decided to have a meta aspect to it far more layered i would say than anything seen in jeepers creepers one or two or any type of self-awareness we've seen in the series in the past the opening scene that 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 basically is a cheap rehash of trisha and Derry, while also being a nod to the actual events that inspired that original movie's opening it's just revealed to be a youtube clip or something from the unsolved mystery series i think which in a way i guess you could say is also a cheap redoing of a screen four opening of the screen four opening which is far superior in comparison to this but here here's the problem with that opening being revealed as a clip that we know chase was watching that means that d and gary were actors playing roles for the series correct now i might be stupid but i don't think i am and when I, when i'm talking about this when you have a series titled titled unsolved mysteries the things that they're recreating for the series, they're not being done by the real people. That's not something that I am ignorant to. That's something I believe is a fact. And I know many of you also know that that is the case. So if D and Gary were actors playing roles, why is it that later on it says that those two are missing? Like how, how are the actors that played the characters of Ron and Marie missing? Basically what this implies is that the footage was actual crime footage and it was used for a series why was that allowed but we know that's not what's happening the real ron and marie are the ones that went missing all that time ago yet jeepers creepers 4 tells you that the actors playing them in this unsolved mysteries are the real ron and marie and they went missing it makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense it's the same thing as you know with things like the the murder Dahmer series on netflix right now and so many other things that relate to re recreating real life events those are actors why are d wallace and gary graham missing in the movie there's literally a poster later on that says they are missing why are they missing if all that they were simply doing was playing the characters of real people who went missing like it just doesn't it doesn't make sense and the third thing that really is a problem with this movie is the fact that it is set in 2021 the film couldn't even have the year correct 
Jeepers Creepers 4 should have been set in 2024 and not 2021 because Jeepers Creepers 1 and 3, they are set in 2001. Now, some folks would argue that, hey, they didn't specify 2001 in those movies. And correct, I don't recall ever hearing them say the year 2001. However, a lot of math and stipulations are set up based on the Creepers lore and other plot points. Trisha at one point says she always heard that the Kenny and Darla story was true and they went missing back in 1978 from Wheaton Valley. The cops in the diner later on help us figure out this setting slightly by also saying Kenny and Darla's bodies went missing 23 years ago or something like that. Giselle later on then seals the deal when this is taking place with really where this is taking place when she reveals that every 23rd spring for 23 days the creeper gets to eat thus anyone who wants to be honest with themselves can conclude that 23 years ago kenny and darla died so if that so if that was 1978 this is 2001 thus jeepers creepers 4 has the creeper waking up far too early and has broken the cycle with zero explanation of how it woke up this early look at it like this if you want to justify this as anything other than a clear sign of bad writing and lack of attention to detail, then I'll say basically, even though Jeepers Creepers never said it was in 2001, is enough is still provided for you to find your X's and Y's. Like I know many of us excelled at in algebra class, if you ever took that course, because I know not all of us took algebra. I've learned a lot of people haven't taken algebra. <laughs> but uh, this movie just has so many things wrong with it. And those are like three major narrative hiccups that I just can't stand. They completely boggle down the movie in its presentation the lack of attention to detail is very bothersome the film should not be set in 2021 it should be set in 2024 even though we don't hear the year 2001 in jeepers creepers one two or three there's things put in place years that are mentioned stipulations applied to the creeper and the lore that then will help you fill in your x's and your y's and be able to come to the conclusion hey this is set in 2001 that's all there is to it they don't have to go out of their way to explicitly say it anymore it's like basically if i lead you to to something it doesn't matter if i actually tell you what it is it's there in front of you for you to see i don't have i don't have to paint it out to you and speak it at this point it's right there in front of you clear as day so jeepers creepers 4 just took liberties with timing when it really didn't need to and all these other things that just boggle the movie down, the effects, all these plot points I mentioned with the script here today, these three major ones. But let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. What other problems do you see with Jeepers Creepers 4 narratively? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And yes, of course, the cult. It's not it's not completely explained. It leaves more unanswered questions more than anything. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.